Hi guys, welcome to Soul's Journey. And I am very excited today because, holy hell, and I do mean that literally, it's finally here. This was supposed to be delivered back in February before everything turned into a dumpster fire and Italy got shut down for I don't know how long. So if anybody is still waiting for this deck, it was supposed to come via FedEx. The last word that I had from FedEx, I think I got an update yesterday saying that it was going to be delivered tomorrow. And it showed up today in the US mail. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But here we go. Big emblazoned with standard edition so that all the demons know I didn't spring for the the special one and I'll probably have to answer for that later but that's okay. No disasters today with power. We lost power yesterday. A truck took out a power pole when it was like 90 million degrees Kelvin outside and you'd think I would be used to the heat from hell but you know it still makes me cranky. So let's see what the hell we've got here. Okay, we'll just, whoops, something just flew across the floor. Hang on. Aha. Errata. There is a small mistake on the Queen of Cups, card number 12. Here you can find the correct replacement card. Okay, well, that's nice. Let's see what other goodies we've got in here. All right, we're going to need the big guns here to open this puppy up. This is nice. I don't even remember that we were supposed to be getting this. I mean, you know, I just, I never pay attention to all the other stuff that gets added on to these Kickstarters. Um, and if you're not aware, this is the Goetia Tarot in Darkness from Los Scarabeo illustrated by Fabio Lustrani, who also did the Santa Muerte tarot and oracles. And let's see. This is kind of weird. What the hell is happening here? This is very cool. Okay, so we've got massive bag here. This thing is huge. Hang on, I had a ruler around here somewhere. Right here. This thing is monstrous. I mean, it's like what do we got here? Almost 11 inches tall, like 10 and 3 quarters by 7. So that is a big, it's like the velveteen and then, ooh, pretty red satin inside. Very nice. Demons will like that. And then we get our spread cloth. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. And this is the same kind of, it's the same sort of like plush or crushed velvety feel, even though it's, I'm sure it's polyester. Yeah, you can tell in the back, but that's fine. I mean, it's very cool with all the demonic sigils everywhere and tetragrammaton. Directions, 93, 93. Very nice. All righty. Here is the box. Let's get the plastic off so it doesn't blind everybody here. I may have to turn off the overhead lights. But... Oh, gently, gently, gently. Okay. And I would have turned off the camera for this, but just in case there is anything amiss, I want it on camera as I open it. So, let's see. Here's the box. It's one of those that flips up, which is kind of their new thing. 
We've got the UV spot treatment on the rays all around. And those Scarabeo, Taro in Darkness, Goetia. We've got our nice little seal on the back, our Lucifer. Isn't that lovely? Hello, Lou. Alrighty. Here's the interior of the box, if I can show this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, hmm. Yeah, wrong way. Ugh. Hang on. Okay, more of a bird's eye view here so you can see the inside of the box. We got the Lucifer there. It's based on that statue in Italy and I will put that somewhere across oops, <laughs> the bottom here <laughs> when I find it. I can't remember the name of the city. I know they put it in the campaign. Nice book. We got all our lovely demons here. Nine, I got 80. That's interesting. There's only 72 in the Goetia. Oh, we added Lilith. Lucifer's number 78. So black and white illustrations inside. I've been waiting for these boys to show up. Hmm. There's Goetia. We got some information on the last page on Fabio Lestrani. Ciao, Fabio. Spirit guide. Oh, we got a little bibliography here. That's nice. Revelation. Here's the mat. Different coin. Oh, that's right. I forgot we were getting those coins, too. So lots of information to dig into there. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this thing. It's a nice print of the Lucifer card. Isn't he lovely? <sighs> got a, this is like black velvet in here. Got a pull out ribbon, which is good because those bad boys are in there. Come on, fellas. Here we go. Oh, all right, so the coins are kind of spilled out all over the place. We got six. There's this, It's one. I think all these illustrations are in the book. Okay, so I guess they all have the same thing on the reverse. Yeah. Come on. Honestly, I do not know which way is up or down. I'm not sure what these are made of. It's kind of cool though. Hmm. Oops. Okay, so should we get on to the main attraction here? Take a look at these cards. So they're black edges all around. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for this. Oh, okay, yeah, that. Oh, look at that. Holographic coating on all of them. All right, you know what? I'm going to run over and shut off that overhead light and see if that helps. So they are, as you can see, they are very glossy. 
This is Baal, King of Wands. And here's the back. It looks fully reversible. Two is the Page of Wands, Agares. All right, yeah, this glare is just going to make me nuts. I got to figure something else out. Hang on. All right, this is about the best I can do here. It's just this high gloss coating is just going to reflect everything. But look at that. It's like the whole thing is like holographic. This is a lot of cards to get through, folks, so get a get some popcorn or a beer or your beverage of choice. This is Vasago. Four of Wands. I think that means Four of Wands. Very interesting the way they're arranged in this. Okay, the overhead fan is slowly stopping. Ugh. And this is Gamagin, Queen of Pentacles. Oops. Card number five is Marbus, the Hierophant. I'm not gonna, I could go drag out one of my books on demonology and tell you a little bit about these demons, but then we'd be here all day. And the cat's fussing. Hang on. Okay. Cats should be settled for now. Back to the cards. This one's a little harder to make out if you can't quite tell what's going on there. Come on. There we go. So this is the Fool. Valifor. But it's card six. Very interesting. So numbering clearly is not standard. This is Ammon. Eight of Swords, card seven. Is that? Okay, so this is card seven, Eight of Swords. This is cool. This is very cool. I think Fabio did an amazing job with these. And let's see. Bring it a little closer, hopefully. There we go. So this promises to be a long video, but Nine of Swords, Barbados, or Barbatos. Ten of Swords, Payman. Haha, <laughs> good old Payman. One of my favorites. Oh, this is cool. Card 10 is the King of Cups, Boer, or Buer. Very nice. Card 11 is Temperance, Gusion. Six 
a tree is 12 Queen of Cups. Double 12 there. That's resting. Takes a minute to see what's going on. A lot of detail in these. As you can see, there's astrological, elemental astro attributions. Um, and they've all got their sigils up in the corner. He put a lot of work into this. This is really amazing. Belleth, Five of Wands. I'm sure most people are not going to stick around for this whole thing, but for those that want to see it, I'm going to walk through them. Oops. There. Six of Wands. Larage. Don't really know how to pronounce some of them. Elagor, or Elagos. Oh, he called them Elagos. Seven of Wands. Loving this, loving this. Knight of Pentacles, Zipar. Uh, if you've looked into demonology at all, there are, you'll know there are um, multiple spellings of many of their names. So, we've got Botus, Page of Pentacles. I assume he appears as a snake when summoned. And this is Bathin, Ten of Pentacles. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Salios, or Salos. Two of Swords. Three of Swords, Person. Swords. Mm. Love this deck. Ipos, Epos is strength. <clears throat> A lot of these demons are the ones who are said to have taught mankind about all the arts and sciences, um, herbs and medicines, astronomy, astrology, um, geometry. Some of them will track down thieves. This is AIM, Six of Cups. Ooh. Who's this? Nibirius is the moon. Oh, fabulous. Glaciola, Glacialabolus. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's uh, <clears throat> Glacialabolus, Eight of Wands. So there's more than one way to spell most of their names. There we go. There's the name. 
Boon or Boone Judgment or Bune, I'm not really sure. Ronove. Hmm. I don't remember that name. Ten of Wands. Maybe I know him by a different name. Or her. Oh. Got Constellation of Leo behind there. I'll have to look into that one. I'm a Leo. Bereth. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Magnificent. Astaroth, King of Pentacles. Probably one of the better known. I got Fussy Cat again. Hang on. Okay, how cliche is this? My black cat just came in here. You guys know Lizzie. I think you've seen her. If she starts fussing, I'll put her on camera again. Fornius, Four of Pentacles. Foras, Page of Swords. Asmode, King of Swords. I love that name, Asmode. Gaop, Gaop, Seven of Swords. Furfur, Page of Cups. Seriously, it's F U R F U R. Ooh, who's this? Marcosius, Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. Again, we've got Leo up here. Interesting. This is Stolas, Ten of Cups. Another fave. Phanix, Two of Wands. Alphas, Three of Wands. That's cool. Malphas, The Tower. What exactly do we have going on here? We're looking up, like at the front of a cathedral. And it's almost like a little I don't know, enclosure or something there? Oh, I see. Like looking up from inside. There's a bird in the middle. This is Malthus. Realm, Five of Pentacles. Fabio must have killed himself on this deck. This is amazing. Folklore, Six of Pentacles.
Vipar, Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. A water demon, no doubt. Sabnok, Knight of Swords. Shax, Queen of Swords. Okay, anybody who watched Charmed is familiar with the name Shax. An actual demon name listed in the Goetia. Vine is the sun. Bifrons, Two of Cups, nice. Vual, V-U-A-L is Three of Cups. I think that holographic silver really highlights a lot of the details. Uh, Hagenti, Four of Cups. Procell, Queen of Wands. Fercus, the Hermit. Balam, Wheel of Fortune. Alosis, Eight of Pentacles. Came, C A I M, Nine of Pentacles. Murmur, the Empress. I believe it's Murmur who can summon the dead. Ouroboros, the world. Gemory. Gemory, death. Ose, O.C., the hanged man. It's just O.S.E. Amy, A.M.Y., five of cups. Orias, Knight of Cups. Vapula, or Vapula, Seven of Cups. Zagan, the Emperor. Sixty-two, 
Valak, Nine of Wands. Andrus, Knight of Wands. Aurus, Justice, Andre Alphas, Three of Pentacles, Hmm. Simaeus, the chariot. Amducius, five of swords. Belial. Six of Swords. Decorabia, the Star. Seer, Eight of Cups. Dantalion, the High Priestess. That's interesting. She was also used in an episode of Charmed, and she was a priestess. She was the one who married uh, Prue to that demon. Andromalius, the Magician. Seventy-two. Who else have we got? The sword. Use of swords. There are only seventy-two demons listed in the Goetia. What is this one called? The vessel. Ace of Cups. The disc. Ace of Pentacles. The Wand, Ace of Wands. And we've got Lilith on the Lovers. Lucifer is the Devil. That's magnificent. Another Lucifer, alternate devil card. And Ishtar, oh, alternate lover's card. So you can have Lilith or Ishtar. Uh, Lady Babylon is Strength. Up to 82 here, King Solomon, the Magician. And Goetia, of course, is the Lesser Key of Solomon. And another alternate Solomon card, Magician. And... Got that, spare, and then... This was the Queen of Cups number 12. OK. 
Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, this is Citri, Queen of Cups. Did they say what's wrong with it? Hmm. Let's take a look. Okay, what do we got here that's wrong? I don't know. I'm not seeing it here. Well, now I don't even remember which one was the corrected one and which one was the original. Oh well. <laughs> I'll figure it out when I check the video later. So, there we have it, the long-awaited Goisha Tarot in Darkness from Fabio Lestrani and Los Scarabeo. If yours hasn't arrived yet, take heart. It should be on its way. And really well done. This is a nice linen finish. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, if you stuck around through all that, thanks much. And please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.